Good. And then, um, awesome. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to say initial welcome in Borada. So good to have everybody. We're getting ready at my car. And uh, Susan's going to, wonderful. Susan is the thought leader who, who said, mm -hmm. I, let's let's have a show like Judy, like a, a Judy Garland and um, Becky mm -hmm. many years ago. And so now we have our Friday afternoon at the Manor series program. So, yeah. uh, so further ado, if you want to introduce our lovely, pe our lovely, uh, mm -hmm. our guests. Our guests, yeah. Okay, thank you everybody. Okay. Thank you very much uh -huh. for coming. We're going to have Cooking with Simon, Welsh pancakes for the season. And then we'll have music with Joy and Elena on guitar. So, Simon? Lovely. Over to you, Simon. Now we're going to pin your video to the, I think I can figure out how to do that. Spotlight Simon. Why can't I not spot? Anyway, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Okay, so uh, lovely to be here. Um, and uh, yeah, so today uh, what we're going to do is something very traditional in Wales. And these are called Welsh cakes. Now, in Wales, um, pretty much if you go around to someone's house, if you just pop into someone's house, go and see, it, go and see a neighbour, they've always got Welsh cakes. Always. Um, and it's very traditional and um, yeah, and they're, they're easy to make um, as long as you get it right. Um, my memories is um, when I used to go to when I used to go to school and when it was blizzard uh, outside and I had to wait in between one minibus. I used to go bus and then minibus and then sometimes I'd have to wait. And um, there was a lovely couple, and the lady is called Blob. Sorry, Blod. She's called Blod, Blodwin. And she's lovely. And in my opinion, she made the best Welsh cakes I've ever had. Um, and um, so, yeah, that's where it came from, really. And I thought about, I thought about that today. So Welsh cakes. All right. So um, what I did was I shared um, Welsh cakes. Um, and, um, basically it, it ends up with, hopefully with a flaky, uh, tender ones and they basically, uh, the texture of it, they should melt slightly. Now, if you see my recipe, then this is what it says on one of them. It talks about using a mix of six ounce, which is 170 grams of butter and then uh, 170 grams of lard. Now, someone, so you may say, oh, goodness me, don't use lard, don't use lard. I've got to think about your weight. But the thing is, is the fact that the joy of using lard is basically which helps you ending up with that lovely flaky texture. Okay. So what I'm... Oh your own then you can ask robin morris because he knows exactly how to do it it involves a lot of fat and rendering it down render it down obviously you used to learn that in the war or in coronavirus um so anyway so that's that's that the second one is to use mace okay now use mace because mace it's not nutmeg it's not mixed spice it has a very distinct uh, mace flavor to it. And the other one is use caster sugar, not granulated sugar, not icing sugar. That again, it gives you that texture. All right. So, that's so, uh, so what it is, I'll run by it. So basically we're using it in cups. So it's six cups of all purpose flour, one cup of caster sugar, three teaspoons, Spoons of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of mace, and then we got the salt, the cinnamon, and then the lard, and then the fat, and then three eggs, and one and a half cups of currants. All right, so we'll get on with that. So obviously, let's turn it around. And here's one I'm 
prepared earlier. All right, so uh, I'll weigh up the flour. Okay. So, like you say, it's basically uh, six cups. You can butt in at any time if you want to ask questions, no problem. So like I say, right, so this is, uh, it ends up with currants. Is there like an equivalent, a Canadian equivalent, kind of like a mix between a scone, like a flat scone? Do you have anything in equivalent in Canada? Not that, not that I know of, no. <laughs> Wait there. Thing. Well, I keep losing stuff. Hang on. Okay, let's try again. Okay, so sorry, two cups. And again, yeah, it's just all purpose. All right, and then you've got, and then you got your sugar, and then you got your sugar. So that's a third of a cup of custard sugar. Okay, and then baking powder. I, I don't know, I tend to find not everyone stocks baking powder. I mean, baking soda you can get, but baking powder, well, it didn't used to be, but you can get it more. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's what I tend to find when I first came here. I was like, what, oh, you haven't got baking powder? Everyone needs baking powder. Okay, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put in the spices. Okay, let's try and do both. Spin it up a bit. Okay, so here we've got, uh, so basically you've got the ground mace and this is the flavor. It's absolutely lovely. So what we're gonna do with this one is half a teaspoon of ground mace. We can go with that. All right, and then we go with some cinnamon. Bless you. All right, and then we're just going to Is put. Anybody it. else having a problem with this um, sound? No. It's Pat. Hey, Pat. Um, I think there's a little bit of a delay on the sound, but mostly I, it's working. Are you are you challenged by the sound? It's saying your network bandwidth is low. Is that what? It's... Oh, okay, that that's something on your side. I'm sorry to say. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um... uh, you could go closer to your modem, possibly. Uh, I've never had a problem before, but anyway. Sometimes that's the case, though. Like, technology is not foolproof, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <Yeah. laughs> well, it, I, I might have to leave if it keeps on because it's... it's that bad, eh? Yeah. If you, turn off your ban if you turn off your video, you'll increase your bandwidth. Oh, okay. Thought. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but also is the fact that because so many people now are working from home and they need a more uh, network, so it's more demand, isn't there? Okay, so sorry, butter. Now, two things, okay? So basically all you're doing is you just cut it into little chunks or crumble it into it. Um, the other thing as well is, um, so there you go. If you wanted to do this, uh, in order to rub this together. And so you've got butter and then you've got the lard. Um, so could there, could there maybe be another way of doing this? Because you basically, you're trying to get nice and small and ready to roll, to uh, mix it all together with your fingers. Anyone know a different way of doing it? Pop quiz. Anyone? Knives. How about a food processor? Yeah. That's one of it. Yeah, indeed. And then you've got to wash it afterwards. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely one. Um, the other one is, so if you just put your, uh, keep your butter uh, in your fridge um, or in the freezer, 
and then you can grate it. Grate it. Oh, okay. It's an idea. It's just an idea. But yeah, you can you can do it like that. So anyway, what you're doing is you're just bonding all of this together nicely. All right, until basically, as it, as you say, as my mum taught me, into a bread crumb. Okay. And it's not like yeah. it's not like I'm teaching you wonderful, wonderful ladies and gentlemen out there teaching you to suck eggs because you've got more, you've got more. Uh, I don't put it nicely. I'm going to say you're mature. You've been around the block, but anyway, I'll see what I can do. I'll try my hardest. Okay, and then basically you're gonna wrap that all together. Somebody in the chat room asked me where I was from also. Mm -hmm. We were yeah. talking about music. Yeah. And what's the other things? So then basically what you're gonna do is you then you've got an egg. So get yourself one egg. And just mix that one slightly. Yeah, and you pop that in. And then uh, then you need to put some milk in it. He's got me so lost. Okay, so this is very important. This is the next bit. Okay, okay you ready? You have to only use organic milk, all right? Because you've got, then you'll make sure you know where the grass and the, the cow was eaten on it. Very important, okay? It's triple the price. He's joking. Very important. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> I'm only joking. Sorry, you could have a bit of a laugh, don't we? All right, so then the next thing is two to three uh, tablespoons of milk. In milk. Okay. Organic, organic or non-organic. <laughs> okay, and then basically what you're doing is gently, and then what I tend to find with this, because you want to get it the right consistency, and then I'm gonna throw in these uh, currants, and then you basically mix that all together. Now, that's the other thing is to say, um, no, I'm not joking about this bit. It's about currants, okay? Uh, not raisins, not currants, but raisins. Uh, the reason is, is because they're, they're smaller, obviously. And then what you tend to do is, that I tend to find that the flavor is different. And also then, there's not so much, uh, you know, they're not, they're too big, okay? You want more of the actual mix, the, the pastry, the Welsh cake, and then you get more of that lovely flavor as well. But if you can't get it, then you, you, you go with what you got and see how they get on. And then, uh, yeah, and then you can go from there. So then basically what you wanna be doing is you're mixing all this together, all right? And then what you want to do is get the consistency, all right? So what I've done is I've done this on purpose, by the way, is the fact that what I've done here, let's put this down for you. Okay, if you can see what I've done is on purpose, I've made that too wet, okay? And then what you can then do is you've got your flour and then you just add a little bit, a little bit until it's the right consistency. All right. The pancakes to Welsh cream. Yeah, well, there's a. See what? what? What bothers me is that there's all kinds of ingredients here, and a couple of them are repeated. So, like, there were three eggs, now there are four eggs. Um, 
All right. right. I'll tell you what. Do you want me to read it out to you? Okay, hang on. I'll read it out to you in a minute. So basically, hang on. You copy. Okay. Okay. Let's try it with your niece. Okay. Now, where the hell is he in this room? He's in the kitchen. There he is coming back into his focus. So he's now trying to show. You fried them or baked them? Thank you, fried them. There you go. Voila. Okay, so well, here's what we prepared earlier as they say on television. Okay, I've obviously I've made a big batch. So what I've done is I've trickled this. Um, and then basically then what I can do is if you so wish, um, then I can drop some off at Manor Road Church and I can leave them in little containers and then you can take some with you if you want. But uh, mm -hmm. does that sound good? Okay, so, so what you're doing now is you need to basically, you need to roll them all out. And so obviously every, everyone knows how to do that. So obviously you got your flour. So all I'll do with this one is I'm gonna separate, I'm just gonna put like a third of this here, this batch, or a bit more. Oh, you know what? Hey. There you go. There we go. Does that sound good? You get that consistency? Amazing. Okay. That's a very thick too. Yeah. All right. so make it more like a so that's that's how you want to end up yeah. with. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. So he calls them Welsh cakes. So that's what you're doing, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's why it's gotta be heavier. Yes. But it's heavier than a cake batter cake. Yeah, but 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 like it, it it's it, gone heavy. Yeah. And I'll let you know, so generally it's at some point when they're, they're baked, well, if they're fried, you're not going to, but if they're baked, you might do toast you, them. Do you want, do you want that um, instructions to make uh, 15 Welsh cakes? Yes, please. Yes, please. Are you ready? Ready. So what you want is two cups of all-purpose flour. You know, you know what? Here in Canada, I had to get my head around all these cups and a quarter of a cup and all that kind of stuff. But uh, and also changing my recipes to uh, to imperial and metric. Anyway, and there you go. So that's the first one: two cups of all-purpose flour. And then you've got a third cup of caster sugar. And like I said, it's caster sugar you need. And then you want one teaspoon of baking powder. Then you've got half a teaspoon of ground mm, mace, not mice. Then a quarter of salt. Okay, then you have an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Then you have the wonderfulness of two ounces of lard. And so then what I've done is I just had a look and that equivalents to 57 grams. So that is the same with the butter. Then you've got one large 
Ed? Simon? Can yeah. You I have a question. Yeah. Um, so if I, do you mean if I was replacing the lard with butter, and it would be two ounces, or do you do two ounces of butter as well? Sorry. No, that's okay. So if, if you were to use um, just butter, then yeah, you'd get four ounces of, of butter. Oh, okay. So it is two and two. Okay. That's great. Two and two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, then you have one large egg and then you gently beat that. And then you have half a cup of the dried currants. Obviously, like I say, that's the preference, but you know, if you can only get sultanas or currants, then uh, you can go with that. And then um, I said, and then basically um, when we finish, then we'll use some, uh, some sugar just to finish it all off. Hmm. Right? So anyway, is that, is that all good? Good. Great. Yes, it's great. Are you, are you going to eat? Are you going to eat? Are you gonna... Okay, so now I've got you all salivating. Um, so, yeah, of course, I'm just going to cut it off here now. I finish now, all right? You're happy, aren't you? No? No. Oh, yes. How do you bake them? Well, 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 how Simon, long do you bake it? I do, how long do you bake them? Oh. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm coming. Here we go. All right. So this is what we're going to do now. I'll do it. Don't worry. So basically, you've got your flour. You flour it. Yeah, and then roll them out. And remember, you rotate it as you do it, yeah? Well, he's right rolling it fairly thin. Um, oh, right, okay. Yeah, what the thickness of it? I'll show you. This is about how I want it. Let me get a ring. You're using a British rolling pen because it doesn't have handles. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to do them about that size. It's like the bottom of a tin or some, some cookie cutter thing that we're not used to. You see that thickness? So it's not too, yeah, it's about not too thin, not too thick. So you just cut out what you want. Now what I tend to do is then I just leave them on the side. They're like scones. Okay. I like biscuits. Mm-hmm. They fry them up. They're lighter. Does they deep fry them or pan fry them? Oh, no. Deep fry? Deep fry? Deep fry. That would be deep sac fry. sacrilege. Oh, really? So, okay. What? You don't you don't deep fry them, okay? Oh, okay. Great. Heresy, heresy. <laughs> okay, so what we'll do is, um, so how are we going to cook them? So what I have, what I use is a flat griddle, um, which I then put it on the hob. Um, so I'm just, wait there, I'm just going to heat this up, okay? So... So all you want is you need to get that to a nice heat. So leave that about five minutes. If, if you haven't got one, um, then you, if you've got a good frying pan, has everyone got a nice, a nice frying pan? Yeah. 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 There you go. You can do them on them. And then, uh, yeah. So all we're doing now is you then, whoo, Whoops, sorry. So yeah, you want a good a good heat. So it's not it's not good enough, yeah. Okay, it's one twenty six. Um, what time do you wanna? Uh two twenty, so uh two twenty. Yeah. 
Do you want me to just do these quick? No, you're good. You're good. Yeah, I'll just do them. I'll just do some, just give you an idea of what they're like. Um, now then what you can do is obviously you have to put butter on them when, if, when right. you've eaten them. You have right. to. Okay? Um, and then what you can do as well is, I don't know if you ever thought about doing this. Some, sometimes you may like to put some jam on it. And do you know that you can use like a really quick jam? So if you just got like a punnet of raspberries, for example, uh, a punnet, and then uh, it's up to you how sweet you want it, then how much sugar you put in it. So you put some sugar, put it all in a, in a saucepan, and, um, and then you add some lemon juice to it. Now, some recipes, some recipes will ask for pectin, all right? And you're like, well, what the heck is pectin? And do I need to be going out and buying this? It's basically, it's, um, it's the equivalent, pretty much, of lemon juice. So right. you just put some lemon juice in it. So we just got, we've got some sugar, you've got some uh, raspberries or some blueberries, whatever's in season. And then you just put that in there, nice and gentle, let it bubble, 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 and leave that to bubble whilst you're making these Welsh cakes. And then by the end of it, you've got a nice warm Welsh cake, you've got lovely butter, and then you've got some jam. To, well, you can call it a preserve, shall we? We'll call it a preserve. Okay, so this, um, I'll move this now. I moved out of the video. I'm saying I can. You did it. Hello, this is Daryl Martindale. I came okay. to a few days ago. Good oil? Yeah, I just wanted to make sure you had my correct phone number because I dropped my landline um, some time ago. So I just wanted to make sure. Okay. Sure. So Gerald, Ger just send that to me directly again, okay? So how are you spreading out his oil? I'm putting out, I'm spreading out the oil a little bit. That's right, yes. Okay, and we just put some on. Yes, that's right. Now. Yes. Put some more on. Okay. Thank you. You too. Bye. See, it's really difficult, isn't it? <laughs> so, like I said, as long as you get the right consistency, if you want, you can try using methods. You can try a different, try using um, just butter. And then, yeah, see how that works out. I'm sure it'd be absolutely great. Um, but yeah, see how it goes. So what you're doing with these is you want them nice and brown, just gently brown, okay? But you've got to you got to judge the heat on them um, where you don't want them to burn, but you want them to cook through. So I tend to find with the first batch, you're kind of like getting the heat just right and la da da da. But um, but when you end up making like twenty of them, you 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 got it, you got it. See, do you see this nice color? Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, when these are finished, then, um, then yeah, that will be, that will be it when I finish them all. So, basically, um, about the timing, then pretty much on the griddle plate, um, you took in that for about, uh, about four minutes, but you can judge it. Um, but yeah, it's about four, about four minutes each side on a gentle heat. Um, and yeah, you let that go on and then you can, uh, what you do at the end is if you then, um, just before they're slightly warm and then you can just, uh, if you've got some sugar, cast the sugar on the, on a plate and then you can just pop it, pop it on there and then turn it around the other side. And then you've got some nice sugar, uh, on the top of it. So yeah. What temperature is the griddle, okay. Simon? Pardon? What temperature do you think the griddle is at? Hot. 
It is hot. Hot. Like, like 350, 375 more. Yeah, well, def yeah, it's probably about yeah, about 375. Okay. But obviously, with mine, I tend to find there's different edges on each side. It has like, oh, that's a bit brown on that side. I end up like dancing around with them, which is very therapeutic. <laughs> So there, they're just cooking. Uh, do you have any just general questions? You got any? Any cooking questions? Do you have a, 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 what do you call it? Courier pigeon to send a few off to Ottawa? Oh, that's a good <laughs> idea, isn't it? Yeah, we can do that, can't we? Are we allowed? <laughs> what do what do I put on the label? Do I say uh, uh, I don't know if you put something like people put like random things to go around it, don't they? So if you put down something like uh, dog food, then it will probably go through. Won't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think it might drag the pigeon down because if we have to strap a pancake to each one of the pigeon's legs, it's going to be kind of happy. <laughs> Yeah, the pigeons might eat them. Yeah, there might be a problem with the pigeon eating them too. Do they do they do thing here? Go again. We missed you there. Do you guys in, in Canada? Do you do pigeon uh, race? Pigeon race? No, not that I. Heard. I don't think so. Because what they do is they set them off, okay, and they got to get all the way around to come to the other way. They get come all the way around. They go on a route, and they've got yeah. They've got a tag on their uh, on their legs. Yeah. But of course, so, some of them then they get lost, and then sometimes you'll find some of them, and they'll be yeah, some random places. But they're pretty good. It'll be a whole other life in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> in gay Paris, in gay Paris. Pigeons in Paris. I see it. I see the title. Mm -hmm. He's in there also. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, that's what. Okay, so yeah, we are rushing it. But all I did was I made a little bit of cinnamon and caster sugar together and I put that. And then um, when it comes out, it's just beautiful. It's moist. It's moist. Um, it's, 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 it's moist, but it's flaky. It's like flaky pastry, you know what I mean? It's got like the layers on it, which basically that brings, uh, bond that all together nicely. I'm with the dish is the perfect size. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Look at his uh, <laughs> Hang on, I'll get some butter. Would you serve it with tea or coffee? Tea. Jeff has left the kitchen. I don't think there is milk in the recipe, right, Simon? Betty's asking on the chat if there's milk. There was no milk. Yeah, there is. Oh, there is? Oh, there I was. Didn't... So with you with your one, maybe I missed that bit out. Two to three tablespoons of milk. I'm sorry, I may have missed that bit out. Okay, Simon, I'm just going to run over um, what I've got written down. Yeah, I'm coming. Tell me what stage the milk should go in, okay? Oh, that's pretty, that's right at the end, right? Oh, it is at the end? Okay. So I've yeah. got two cups of flour, a half a cup of castor sugar, a teaspoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of ground mace, a quarter teaspoon of salt, an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, Two ounces of lard, 
two ounces of butter, and then um, a large egg beaten, and then a half cup of dried currants. So when does the milk go in? And, and then two to three tablespoons okay. of milk. Do you have it now, Betty? Okay, perfect. Thanks. I'm afraid I'm baking cookies at the same time I'm watching this. So. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I'm multitasking. <laughs> what is caster sugar? You, you what, sorry? What is caster sugar? What, what is it or where? Yeah. It's called is it, sugar. Is it powdered sugar? No, no, it's up another level. It's not your, not your um, regular coarse um, sugar. It's in the mid, it's in between the two, caster oh. sugar. If okay. you have, yeah, it's a bit of pain in the bum, but, um, but yeah, if you've got any, then that's great. Um, but yeah, use your regular if you want. So here we go, let's just pick one up. And just rest them for a moment. And then like I say, you can you can put some sugar on it. And then you'll end up, you see this when I break, uh, when you break it, can you see this one breaking nicely? Hmm. Look at that. And you see that flaky? I'm just gonna flake it again, right? Can you, you got that? Nice. Is that good? Yeah. Very nice. Okay. So then, yeah, and then you put uh, then you put the butter on it, and uh, there you go. Looks delicious. Nice. You try to make them. But um, yeah, I, I can make some. I've got a big batch, which I'll, I'll just carry on baking them. And then I can put them in some Tupperware. You know, the black ones. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Should I, I just drop some out for church, um, like tomorrow, probably? That sounds wonderful. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No worries. No worries. Sounds great. I'm afraid okay. that our Ottawa pals aren't going to be able to make it to the church to pick them up, though, probably. No. Or the people in Wales. Oh uh, yeah, mum, mum, be all right. Mum knows how to make them. Calls to Newcastle. Expertise, yeah, Newcastle as well. Good. If you're not delivering them to the church until tomorrow, you've got time to bring a few of them over here to Ottawa. Good point. <laughs> Good point. How long does that take to drive there? I know. About four hours. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I'll quickly do another batch and then I better get in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Good. All right. Okay. Uh, we can sing along to him as he's traveling. Yes. Yay. <laughs> so that's, yeah, that's it. That's good. If you've got the, you know, cutters, they're just your regular, um, cookie cookie cutter um and yeah that's what you use for that thanks Simon. that was great that's all right you're welcome thank you thank you. Right, you thank you thank you simon you're amazing you're bravo you. bravo okay good man bless so can you. we uh, can we can we highlight spotlight susan for a second say un unspotlight simon so and we're going to sing now simon okay susan johnson can we Mm -hmm. Can you spotlight Susan for a second? Joanne, can you do that? Oh, do you know what? Someone asked me the other day. Yes. And they were talking about, hang on, isn't there, isn't there this really long word? This really long town? Yes. I think, yeah, I think, I think. You may have said it, on, uh, but yeah, it's the longest, it's the longest town in Guinness World Record. It was, and then New Zealand got another one as well. Yes. I remember, hear, I remember hearing that, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Th thank you, Simon. Joanne, are you able to spotlight Susan? Here I am. Yep. Just a sec. Okay. Spotlight. Okay, we 
There's two channels. Okay. Okay. Uh, now we come to the musical part of our afternoon um, with Joy and Elena and their guitars. Ladies. Over okay. to you, Joy and Elena. Wonderful. We're on. Okay. Did you want to get up? What time is your plan? 2.20, but we want to be there by 2 o'clock. Then you probably want to sit okay, watch. So, uh, Dana Are we go, go to, are we to go to view? Uh, uh, no, but they've got a, a view. Go in. Can you speaker stop, view where the speaker is? So. so so Joy and Elena, what we want is we want you to be on spotlight. So we just gotta shift you there to be the spotlight. Okay. Can you spotlight yourselves? I don't know. Okay, hmm. Joanne, can you spotlight Joy and Elena? That's spot. Robin and Kathy. Okay. Spotlight screen. I don't see spotlight. Hang on, let me see if I can fix something here. I was scratching his bag, he liked it too. Yeah, that dude. There you are. All right. Oh, okay. All right, well, my name's Joy Forbes, and this is my friend Elena. And uh, we're both retired teachers and felt there was a huge need in the community for music. So um, uh, I was born in Montreal, Quebec and lived in Quebec City. I was a French teacher and I used a lot of music in teaching a second language. I was born in Hearst, Ontario. John is familiar with Hearst. And uh, I'm a history and political science and economics teacher. Um, but I came from a musical family. Uh, I learned to play the guitar as a teenager. And now I'm part of Joy's uh, Guitar Groovers with the uh, Canadian Federation of University Women. And so while COVID is keeping us lock a little locked up at home, uh, we're still having fun. Yeah, um, uh, in, in 2001 or 2000, I think, uh, uh, the Canadian Federation of University Women in Canada, we're on the, the west side of Ottawa, uh, they asked me to uh, teach them how to play guitar because they had guitars gathering dust for 20 or 30 years in their closet. So I started to teach them. And we had within six weeks, I said, okay, we've got our first concert and everybody panicked. So we went and uh, did our first concert. We had a very limited repertoire, but I think we lasted about a 50 minute concert. So that was pretty good for our first endeavor. And uh, for 11 years, we've been performing for seniors residences, long-term care facilities and at community events. Uh, during that time, uh, our performances have raised a lot of money for um, scholarships that our club gives out to um, students graduating from grade 12 and going on to college or university. We give $1,000 out to each of 10 high schools in uh, the area around uh, the west end of Ottawa. And so we found now, of course, with COVID-19, uh, we cannot go into seniors' residences at all. And uh, of course, the community events have dried up. So there is still a big need for entertainment. Um, my parents were in a senior's residence and they, they, I just saw their faces would light up anytime there was entertainment, of which it was quite frequent. And um, with the onset of COVID, uh, I have had a mother-in-law in Montreal and I just saw how the, the mental strain um, was getting worse and worse of not being able to see family very much nor have any kind of um, fun type of musical <laughs> events um, and then it was um, so um, I came up with the idea that uh, we should do some virtual concerts and so uh, uh, Elena decided to come on board and we've created these themed concerts. So every month we're coming out with a new show and um, we're marketing that I call my company uh, Groove with a Guitar. Um, I can just share my screen here. And uh, 
Oh, wait, here we are, this one. So I'm in the process of, uh, why is this not coming up? Oh, here it is. It's just rendering here. We had, uh, so in the, um, October, we put out our first concert. It was called the Live in Autumn. And it was all about songs to do with Thanksgiving, the beauty of nature. October. And then we got really silly into a lot of uh, Halloween jokes and uh, songs to do with Halloween. And Oktoberfest. Oh yeah, Oktoberfest too. We had our uh, Eins bei Zufa. And, oh, this is coming up here. So this is uh, uh, Elaine and I in the middle with our concerts. Uh, this is a brand new website that is still currently being developed. Um, I'm uh, giving actually employment to a young fellow over in the Philippines so that he could develop my, my website. And uh, this is, um, these are some of the friends we have that took guitar lessons and we have started to form the guitar groovers and you see we all have our bright pink shirts on when we go to perform. And um, I just wanted to um, share with you um, a demo concert as I said in uh, um, October we did about autumn in November we took uh, John McRae's poem and we interspersed songs, uh, War and Peace songs around that poem. We called it Lest We Forget. Uh, we put out two shows for Christmas with some crazy Christmas uh, jokes. In um, uh, January, we've done um, a concert with all Canadian content. We called it Classic Canadian. In uh, February, we did um, uh, our, our concert was called Lasting Love, and we shared some pretty funny stories about our husbands uh, and just sang a bunch of uh, love songs. It, for March, we have two shows. One for International Women's Day, we showcased a number of women who uh, have invented things that we use every day that you may not be aware that were invented by women. And uh, also we uh, the songs that we chose were to do, they were about women or had been composed by women. Um, then we had a, a, one of the seniors residents asked us, well, do you have anything for St. Patrick's Day? So we just finished filming this week for St. Patrick's Day and we had our little Seamus, uh, a, a little leprechaun, leprechaun that we, we've had fun uh, uh, with him in the background and uh, then uh, we've got wacky weather coming up. We've got groove with the spirit. We have campfire songs. And so we have a lot of, a lot of other um, ideas that we have for the future. So I just wanna share with you, um, I'm going to share my screen again with uh, um, our, our, this is a demo video that we have, which in, incorporates um, a variety of songs. Uh, hey, why aren't we doing this? Okay, I guess I can close that down. And, okay, so, um, here is uh, our demo video. It should give you an idea uh, if everybody wouldn't mind muting themselves because you can't sing along with the lag, but I encourage you to sing along with us and uh, all the words are provided. So that was one thing I thought was uh, very important to do. So I've actually hired a high school student to help me. Oh, why have I got this? Okay, to edit, the, edit my videos. So... Uh, and make sure that I have all the words down because it's it's a big job to try and put all the words underneath so that everybody can sing along. Anyway, so groove along with the guitar. Pardon me? Oh, it's uh, about uh, 30 minutes.
Welcome everyone. We are so pleased you're here to groove with the guitar. My name is Joy and this is my friend Elena and we have created some concerts for you to enjoy in the comfort of your own living. This is a sample of songs selected from our various themes including the Canadian, lasting love, wacky weather, travel together, and swing in the 60s. We want you to groove along with us by singing, tapping your toes, and laughing at our corny jokes. Have fun! Our first number, Something to Sing About by Oscar Brand, is a patriotic song that sings of the praises of the many different regions of Canada. I have walked across the sand on a grand bay of Newfoundland, leaned on the ridge of the Mira Mission, seen the waves tear and roar at the hillpost of Labrador, watch them grow back to the green northern sea. From the Vancouver Island to the Beautiful, beautiful. long-term care facility, and 
and at various community events. When COVID-19 hit, we couldn't do that anymore. So Wayne and I decided that we still wanted people to enjoy entertainment, and we came up with the idea of creating a video. What do Canadians always talk about? Of course, the weather. The next song is Oak Spun at our Canadian River. It uses a classical tune, Red River Valley, but the name of the revised version is 40 Below. Oh, my grandpa came west in the 80s to the prairies where green grows like grass. But the bankers and freight trains got grandpa. And so grandpa got a second class. Oh, it's 40 below in the winter. And it's 20 below in the fall. And it rises to zero in springtime. And we don't have no summer at all. It was raining and hailing this morning. On the corner of Portage and Main. Now it's noon and the base is the and the dust storms are starting again. Oh, it's 40 below in the winter. And it's 20 below in the fall. And it rises to zero in springtime. And we don't have no summer at all. Tonight, the tension grows, the whistle blows. 
chart of the 90s that we just saw. Many of Oh, my bags are packed. 
I'm ready to go. I'm standing here, I tried to know. I came to wake you up to say goodbye. But the dawn is breaking, it's early morning. The taxi's waiting, it's going in hard. Already I'm so lonesome, I could die. song is Michael Rode the Boat Ashore. This African-American song has been passed down from 
generation to generation. And we're going to try a few different kinds of harmony this year. We're mixing it all up. So join in however way you wish. My come song that we wanted wanted to share with you huh why is that going just a second 
don't know whether I have to stop, share, and then share again. Stop, share, and then share again. Yeah. I think so. Okay. Yes. Yes. We just have one, uh, well, one song that uh, we've taped and one that we'd like to do live with you to do with COVID-19. This one is very silly and uh, yeah, it's pretty funny. Where do we uh, now? How do I get to it? Huh, huh, huh. That's just screen. Let's see. I go with that. Aren't we just staying on the big screen? Okay. Yeah, I don't know why I'm on the on the big screen. Let's see. If I go here. No. Onto the. Have I, have I stopped sharing? No, there's share. Let's go up to the X on the right hand corner. Yeah. But... We were in gales of laughter doing this one. Calling all cars, calling all cars. Roman, trying to oh. enter an office building on Fourth Just a minute, it's not rendering. Uh, I repeat, just a sec. without a mask. Okay, just a second. Well, well. It's, it's up. It's up. Calling all cars, calling all cars. A woman trying to enter an office building on Fourth and Main without a mask. I repeat, without a mask. I walked into my job late last week when my co workers all began to freak. They started cursing and began to shout and said quite rudely as the boss threw me out. I need a COVID mask. COVID mask. It means a lot to us. Wear a mask. Just do a simple task. Put on a mask. I need a COVID mask. We made it mandatory almost every place that we can't be seen and must be provided our place. I can't even leave my humble abode without covering my mouth and my nose. We need a mask. We've had a lot of fun with this. And uh, John had asked us whether we make up our own uh, songs. What we like to do is that uh, we like to change the words to a lot of the songs, as you can see. And uh, we'd like you to join in for our last thing with us. It's We Shall Overcome. I'm sure you all know the tune. And um, I want this one. We've changed the words to "We shall overcome COVID-19." So, uh, are we on the large screen? I see uh, Joanne there. Yeah, we see you. Here we go. Okay. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome COVID nineteen. Oh, deep in my heart, I know that I do believe. We shall. Overcome. 
For some reason, I can't hear him. I don't know where that is. Hmm. Hello, hello. For some reason, I can't hear, but uh, that's okay. I'm not sure why I can't hear. Yeah, we're having that problem too, John Joseph. Oh, I can hear now. I'm not sure why yeah. I can hear now. I can, can hear, hear now. Too. Oh, good. I just pushed something. I don't know what I pushed, but here we are. Okay, good. Very good. So, well, that's wonderful. That's one. It, it's a good, good to hear people singing. We've, we've been missing a lot of that. Now, do people have any questions? Mm. All right. What was the name of the web page again? What was the name of your web page? Is it Groove Groove something? Can you hear us? If you get, what you can do is type in the chat. That always works too. Okay. Can they type in I, the chat? I wrote it down. Oh, that's good. Can you okay? If you wrote it down, can you type it in the chat? <laughs> sure. Thanks. That, that's Judy, I think. Yeah. Yes, right. Oh, right. Perfect. Okay. Well, that's very good. Well, well, why don't we uh, perhaps sign off, get ready to sign off for now. And okay. next week we have J James, James Fitzgerald again, because it's all in the blood. And then uh, there it is. Okay. And Susan, do you want to just bid us farewell? Oh, that's it. Thank you, everyone, for coming. And thank you for... Uh, Simon, thank you for your talents, and ladies, thank you for your music. And uh, if you can just stop recording, Susan, that'd be lovely. Okay. <laughs>